For this example, I'm going to recreate a form that I already have. Here's the form in its original Word version. You can see that this form contains numbers, text, and checkboxes. ODK Scan can process all of these types of fields, and the form designer allows me to recreate these as machine-readable fields. You can also see that the form contains an image that I will want on my new form. And although the image will not be digitally readable, it will give me more options for the form's appearance. The reason that the form designer includes the ability to load an existing image is because the form designer itself has limited graphic design capabilities. For instance, it only has one font. But with the image upload feature, I can create whatever design I want in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or really any other graphic design program, and then bring the content formatted exactly as I choose into the form designer. The only stipulation is that it needs to be saved as an image file. The form designer has two different edit modes. The default view is in field layer mode where I add my data fields. Image layer mode is where I can grab images and put them on my form. I've already gone ahead and saved my Word form as an image so that I can pull from it. So here I have the entire form as an image ready to be used. Once I've added a selection of the image to my form, I can resize it, move it around, delete it, and copy it if I need to. I'm able to do this in both the edit mode and the field layer mode. Another way to use the image selection tool is to copy text from my original form that I don't want to bother typing out again, or if it's in a format and font that I want to preserve. For example, I want to keep this mother and child health booklet title as is. And I think I also want the child information one too. Part of using the form designer, though, is trying to rethink how I might reorganize my information. So it's not always the best idea to recreate the form exactly like the original. It's important to keep in mind how the information from the original form can be captured in formats that are also machine readable. We'll address this more in later videos. Another option I have when it comes to adding my own images is replacing these default fiducial markers with my own image. That's what I'll do here, just to make it more personalized. For your tutorial activity, navigate to the image layer edit mode and add an image of your choice to your form. It can be any image you have saved as a JPEG, PNG, or GIF. Move the image around, resize it, copy it, and delete it. Experiment how it looks on your new form.